Hi, are you using the Elementor Page Builder? Do you feel like you're clicking all over the place? Did you know that there are some handy dandy built-in keyboard shortcuts? I'm going to show you some. I'm Robbie Adair and this is OS Tips from OS Training. Did you ever wish when you're an Elementor that you could kind of do like you do in a, an editor, say Word, where you can copy and paste or maybe just paste styles, things like that? Guess what? You can. Elementor has a set of keyboard shortcuts that makes this very easy to do too. So let's jump in and let me show you how to look at what those are. Okay, so I have the back end of a WordPress site open and I also have the front end. So as if I'm making changes, I can refresh this page and see the changes from the back end without having to keep flipping back and forth in the same tab. I actually open one more tab when I'm working in a site with Elementor or any other page builder that takes over full screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, let's say we'll go to the theme builder here now, what I want to do is I want to right click and say open in a new tab. So now you'll see I have three tabs open. My WordPress dashboard, so maybe for instance I need to go in here and change a menu item. While I also have my page builder open here, which will become full screen. You can see if I just click to try it now here, it's going to take over the entire screen, right? So I'm in the theme builder right now. I'm going to go back because what I want to also show you is I can use a keyboard command here and get into all kinds of places in Elementor. It's the Elementor Finder. Control E if you're on a PC, Command E if you're on a Mac. Once you open the Elementor Finder, this is where you can open all kinds of things and you can even create new things. If we say add, you'll see I could create a new post, I could create a new page, a new template pop-up, or a theme template. If I know I'm looking for a certain, uh, let's say maybe the header template, I can just type in that and it'll find my header template and then I can just click to open it directly or any post name and you get the picture. Now that is Command E on a Mac, Control E on a PC. Now let's just go ahead and hop into one of these. Once we are inside of one, and if you try this without being inside the editor part, it may not work for you. And there are a few browsers that don't support this, but command or control, depending on Mac or PC, and question mark. If it doesn't work for you the first time, make sure you click in somewhere inside of the editing area here and then do it again. Control question mark or command question mark. Now this gives you a keyboard shortcuts little card, so you don't have to try and remember them all. But there are some ones that I want to particularly point out to you. One, of course, Control Z. Thank goodness we've got Undo in here. And then you've got also Redo, Control Shift Z. Copy and paste are exactly as they would be in any other program, Control Z, Control V. There is one extra one here that is really cool, it's Control Shift V. So you can just paste a style Think of it like the paintbrush in Word. So you can just paste a style and not just paste and not paste the content. Um, you can also duplicate with Control D and you can save. You can see here's our finder shortcut that we used earlier, and there are more over here. I'll let you explore on your own. Okay, that's it. So you've got some keyboard shortcuts there to try out in Elementor next time you're working in there. Don't forget Control or Command, depending on your PC or Mac. Control or Command question mark will open up that keyboard shortcut cheat sheet so that way you don't have to try and remember them all. So give it a go next time. And also while you're doing it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more for you next week.